Well, he gave up his city council seat to run for mayor of Colorado Springs. Joel Miller joins me now on the eve of Election Day. Big night. Uh, so first off, why are you so opposed to the downtown stadium? Well, I think, you know, the core of my candidacy has been that city government should focus on the core roles of government, public safety, public works, which is roads and bridges and stormwater, parks, and creating an environment for the free market. Outside of that, government really shouldn't be using our tax dollars to do other things. And we're not, it's not like we're doing a real great job on those core services right now. And so uh, right now, the way the plan has been presented to the state, it would cost local and local th taxes and fees over $200 million for a stadium. Now, one of the things that, um, you know, by talking about this, I think citizens are finally aware of what's going on, because I don't think many, many realize that. But so are there any, any aspects of City for Champions that you like or are not opposed to? Well, the issue is, again, maintaining that core role for the government. And I've, my opponents have said that they're fine with all the other three projects. And, I, and in concept, I have no problem with any of the projects but the government shouldn't be doing it. The, the museum, for example, would cost us $130 million in infrastructure when we should be spending those dollars on roads and stormwater. And let's talk about roads. Uh, you know, a lot of the candidates have mentioned that but what is your step-by-step -step plan of addressing and paying for improvements sure. in the roads? Well, the first step is executing the budget that we already have. Uh, for example, in 2013, the city failed to spend over a million dollars that had been budgeted for roads. Every year for the last several years, we have rolled over about five to six million dollars of Pikes Peak Rural Transportation Authority dollars, and so we need to spend the dollars that are allocated. Uh, and then we need to make sure that we're prioritizing uh, among the most critical needs and getting those things done. And uh, Doug Bruce, he endorsed you. You probably got the mail out. I think everybody in Colorado Springs did. I didn't actually. Oh, you did it. No, okay, I, I think you're the only one. It. We all got it. Uh, does that hurt or help you? Well, you know, as I mentioned uh, in the interview uh, later, I think anybody that's supporting me is helpful. Mm -hmm. um, like Doug Bruce or don't like him personally, what you can't deny is it was his tenacity that put taxpayer bill of rights in our charter. And we are one of the few cities in the country that gets to say when our taxes are raised. In a lot of places, it's when the politicians decide. And yeah. when, when they want to raise taxes here, the citizens decide. Well, let's have some fun real quick. Okay, so you're on death row. <laughs> what is your last meal on death row? Wow. <laughs> uh, you know, I think my my last meal would be, uh, would be Italian for sure. Um, mm. My grandmother growing up was Italian and I just have uh, the best memories of life and food and, and family with, uh, with Italian okay, food. Okay, and so. you can have a beer with one person, dead or alive, real or fictional, who would that be? Well, it would have to be my wife. We've been so... <laughs> you can have a beer with her any day. <laughs> well, I can't. This campaign, uh, working full time uh, and also being on city council and she's my campaign manager, we could really use uh, the time to just sit down and, uh, and visit with each other in a non-political way. Smart answer. You're a so. smart man. I bet she likes that. Well, thank you so much for thank being here. Really much. appreciate it. Appreciate it. it.